relaxation oscillator. Let's assume first of all that the capacitor has got no charge in it and we've got 0 volts across it. So the point X is going to be at 0 volts. Because this is inverter, it means that the output here is going to be 5 volts. Because we've got 5 volts here and we've got 0 volts here, the logic gate is going to act as a current source. We're going to get current flowing through the resistor onto the capacitor. And therefore the voltage at X is going to rise. Now, this is a Schmidt inverter, which means that when the voltage here rises above 3 volts, it's going to be seen as high, which will make the output here go low. So we've got 3 volts here, 0 volts here. The current is going to flow the other way through the resistor, and it's going to go in, and the logic gate becomes a current sink in this case. And the voltage at X is going to fall towards 0. But because it's a Schmidt logic gate, a Schmidt inverter, when point X, when that falls below 2 volts, it's going to be seen as low, which will make the output here go to 5 volts, which makes the capacitor charge up, which makes the output drop to 0 volt, and so on. And it's going to be a recurring pattern where the output is going to be going between 0 and 5 volts, and X is going to be oscillating between 2 and 3 volts. And a period is the time taken for one complete oscillation. And the period of this is given on the formula sheet as 0.5 RC seconds. Let's look at a different version of this. You'll sometimes see it with a diode here. And we might see it called E for enable. If this is at 0 volts, we know with a diode that you can get a maximum of 0 0.7 volts across the diode. So point X is going to be a maximum of 0 0.7 volts. Now if this is low, the output here is going to be 5 volts. And it will stay at 5 volts because this voltage here cannot go above 0 0.7 volts, which is definitely a low voltage. Let's change it so we've got plus 5 volts here. Now we know from the previous graph that point X can go between 2 and 3 volts. It's never going to be more than 3 volts. If that's at 3 volts, this side's at 5 volts, we'll find that the diode is reverse biased and we'll find that no current flows through it at all. So what's going to happen is that X can quite happily change between 2 and 3 volts and the output here will oscillate between 0 volts and 5 volts.